white stuff is everywhere guys we are back today turbo s is getting some new shoes ordered up some tires at classic motorsports and maybe some rims with them and we're gonna pick them up today i'm pretty excited we also got some other goodies we're gonna try doing today uh we got an aa tune sent to us for the turbo s right now it's running a boondocker sleeper tune we got a draggy we're gonna do some testing on it see what we get zero to 60 compare it to the aa tune which one's better which one performs better i don't know we're gonna see today but first let's head to classic motorsports pay nate a visit and uh get some shoes let's get some shoes baby but first before i forget you might notice i got me a dirt dude do tv sweater on right now i also have dirt dude do tv uh shirt on but i'm not gonna take my sweater off because it's freezing you can have your own if you want them hit our uh link to the merch store in the description below there's like 15 pieces of clothing 14 plus stickers get whatever you want be a dirt dude Just got to Classic Motorsports. It's time to see these puppies in person. And just like that, they're inside the dirt compound. I was so excited at Classic, I forgot to say what kind of tire I even got. I am running Kanadi uh, Terra Masters in a 33. So right now I have Coyotes, which are 32s that comes on a stock Polaris Turbo S. So we're going up one inch in size and a uh, whole different tread pattern. So Kanadis, what's special about these guys? Two types of tread pattern on one tire. So. I have it set up right now for trail riding. So the type of trail, uh, the type of tread pattern right now, it's like this open gap style. Better for sandy trails, dirt, stuff like that. Here's a different tire pattern on this part of the tire that's more for like hard compound rocks, stuff like that. Let's say you primarily did this stuff, but a little bit of this on the side. You could actually put this side of the tire on the outside. Mine right now is all set up to be trail riding. So it's the bigger gapped uh, tire pattern on the outside of the tire. I feel like I might be repeating myself, so I'm sorry guys. And it's on System 3 B-Lock rims. This is a 15 inch rim, very reasonable in price. Again, I got this all from Classic Motorsports. Ask Nate if you want the hookup. I'm pretty excited to test out this Kanadi tire. You can see this is side A. And then if you want to the other one, Boop, 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 bam, side B. So I wanna give a shout out to Sheet Metal Roofing by Max Allen. So you need a, so a metal roof put on, hit up our guy, Max Allen. Whoop. He's a new sponsor of the channel. Uh, he helped us get these tires right here. So big shout out to him, thank you. Again, if you need any roofing, uh, if you need some <laughs> a fix or a new roof, hit up our guy, Max Allen at Sheet Metal Roofing. His number is right here, most likely. Thank you guys. So we're gonna be getting rid of these 32 inch chainsaw tires. No more coyotes, no more stock rims. Here they are just butted up next to each other. This is a pretty ball tire, so it would gain probably an inch or two of tread, but there is a bit of a height difference. Hopefully gain a little bit of ground clearance with this setup. These coyotes just, uh, the way the tread pattern is, it just doesn't do great. We have a lot of sandy trails up here. A carnivore tire does amazing. But like I said, we do a lot of different stuff and uh, we want to expand in the future here, going to different places. And I want to take that Kanadi all over and see how she does. Enough of me talking though. Let's, uh, let's put these bad boys on. Let's see what they look like on the Turbo S. I'm excited. Well, that whole time I thought we were doing a time lapse. We weren't. We only did the front though so far. Well, I only did the front so far. <laughs> they look sharp, guys. They look awesome. Ooh, yeah. Rims just set a vehicle off. It's crazy how badass it looks. Here's a few things I uh, didn't know. I didn't realize that the stock lug nuts will not work. So you need uh, the shallow, smaller ones 
stock too big. Uh, luckily, I had some for my pedal tires. So, I was all good there. Plus, it looks B.A. with black lug nuts. Woo! -hoo. Man, she looks sharp. She looks sharp. All right, enough looking at these. I'm gonna finish putting these on and actually start a time lapse this time. And I'm super happy. They look awesome. They look awesome. So much meteor. I'm excited to go test these things out. Unfortunately, it's dark right now, but I'm gonna go over a few more things with these tires and rims. I know I keep jumping all over with these stats and blah, blah, blah. But let's say you wanted this uh, setup. Here's one of the reasons I also got it, is these rims are really close to stock. Overall, it only adds uh, two inches to the overall width of the vehicle. So instead of 72 inches, it's 74, which ain't bad. I just don't want to mess up the geometry of the vehicle a bunch and stuff like that. Oop, got a little something on there. Wipe that off. But she looks sweet. She's going to grab. Might add a little bit of ground clearance. I'm sure I did with the tread and the inch bigger tire. Whoo! Tomorrow we'll be testing this bad boy out. Also, we're going to be doing a draggy test. So right now this vehicle is running a sleeper tune from Boondocker on 93 octane. Uh, AA, after Mario Assassins, hooked us up with multiple tunes, but right now we got one that we're going to test it against with Boondocker. It's also their 93 tune. So AA versus Boondocker. Woo! Will the, what will be the differences? What will be the 0 to 60 on the Boondocker compared to the AA? What is the 0 to 300? I don't know. Will there be a difference? We'll see. We'll see. All right, we're going to continue this into tomorrow. The Kanadi Terra Masters uh, on System 3 rims look great on the Turbo S. And uh, here's one more stat. I keep forgetting all these little things. I went. <laughs> My bad guys, the tires are way lighter. So these with no rim is 39 pounds. That's pretty light, that's pretty light. Uh, a Coyote tire, I believe is about 45 to 47 pounds. So dropping a bit of weight there. Uh, the rims I'm sure are a bit heavier, but hey, we're making <laughs> lighter tire, heavier rim. We're about the same probably. All right, for real now, I'm jumping in tomorrow. T tomorrow. All right, I have a buddy here with some dry pavement. He let me use his property, so we're going to do some draggy tests on it. Uh, the Kanadis, I mean, this is a perfect time to do this. Uh, the traction before was horrible, so we got brand new rubber, dry pavement. Let's see what we do for 0 to 60, quarter mile, eighth mile, all those goodies. I have zero idea what it's going to be. Again, this is a Boondocker sleeper tune, 93 octane. Uh, I'm excited to see these numbers. I'm going to do a four-wheel drive, and... Hopefully not puss out and and hold that throttle all the way down. <laughs> hopefully the belt holds up too. Yeah, hopefully the belt. All right, let's let uh, my buddy drive by real quick and I'll hit the road. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how about those new tires? Though? Oh, they're beautiful. They look beautiful. It took me a second to grow onto me because they are like the width is a bit different than the Coyotes. See, you, Eric. Uh, but I like them. Uh, I want to test them on the trail, obviously, so hopefully we'll get to doing that soon. But for now, to the track. <laughs> <laughs> Zero to 60, 6.29 seconds. Eighth mile, 9.46. Zero to 30, 9.2, 2.35. I don't know what I just said. Yeah, you're speaking gibberish. 
Be bop, bop. It looked like you didn't even try. Yeah, did yeah. it look like that? It looked like that. <laughs> All right. I was like almost thinking seven, so it's faster than I thought. I'll do uh, I'll do two more passes. All right. We'll go from there. Go get them, Tiger. <laughs> Let's hit the throttle this time, Billy. That seemed nicer. Come on back around. This time, Zachary. All right, all right, all right. See what test number two did here. Yeah. Zero to 30, 3.72. Yeah. seconds. Uh, that's not ver verified. Zero to 60 is 6.04. So that was better. It was fast. Eighth mile was like 9.27. Point Sweet stuff. Yeah. Apparently, I'm not going far enough to, to get like quarter mile and stuff like that. Yeah. Keep in mind, I'm learning how to use this on the fly <laughs> here, guys. So. Don't judge me. So, I'll do one more run. Maybe we can get into the fives. <laughs> okay. I mean, we shaved two hundredths of a second off. The True. Third time's the charm. Send it. Send it. Send it. Just go already, slowpoke. I can hear him talking. Try. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> Holy crap! Did we get in the fives? 5.85 for I, 0 to 60. I knew it. 9.13 for 8th mile. I had a good feeling. It's like you just keep getting better. Yeah. <laughs> I, it feels bad. Like I can't You're just, warming up the tires. I can't stop now, unfortunately. <laughs> I keep getting better and better. There is no baseline <laughs> no, right now. No, you have to keep going, I think. I don't want to do that. All right, at least do two more. Uh, one more? Uh, one more. I'll do, I'll, do, I'll do another Peer one. Peer pressure. Uh, I'll do another one. Do Hopefully one we get like uh, close to the baseline here. How many is that? Three or four? Three. Three? No, three. And we just keep gaining hundreds of a second every time. Yeah, so. Or not. Oh, okay. I wouldn't want to wave to you either, butt face. Screw that lady. That was a dude. <laughs> Hit it, Felsiden. <laughs> She's creating a brisk wind. It's cold out. Very cold. And dun 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 dun. I broke loose. Yeah? Yeah. Like, I started slipping in the front oh, no. and the rear. I oh. felt like. Oh, no. Uh, zero to 60, flat six. Oh, okay, so yeah, not as good. Not as good. I the tires figured. look a little wet now. Yeah, they, I keep pulling into the damn snow. F you, snow, F you. Yeah. Oh no, do you call it good right there? It's a baseline 5.8, as yeah. like Boondocker's best. All right, all right, that's good enough. Right now, we're gonna head back to the dirt compound and uh, take this tune off and put the AA tune in and compare these bad boys see if we get lower than 5.85 uh, 5.85 seconds <laughs> for 0 to 60 real bummer I can't get the aftermarket assassins tune to go onto the vehicle it might be because of the boondocker tune that's on it and that they're both dino jet tuners something's happening to not allowing the AA tune on there uh, so I'm not able to switch it over to get a comparison bummer but we are going to test out these tires that I just put on. I mean, the Boondocker tune, I think, did pretty well. For 5.85, 0 to 60 time, I think that's pretty good. Especially for their sleeper tune. I mean, that's their lowest tune. And I'm pretty sure it keeps most of the player's restrictions, like the rev limiter and stuff. They bump it up a little bit, but like they keep some of the restrictions on there so they're not blowing up your rig. Uh, 
yeah, whatever. It's gonna be another day, different video. Sorry guys, but enjoy the ripping. Oh, look how beautiful you are in the camera. And off. <laughs> Forgetting me. Whew. Look at that sunset. Good. Uh, the tires do have like 20 pounds of air in them right now. I actually forgot to air them down. <clears throat> so it wasn't the greatest on the ice. I'll slide around a little bit. <laughs> but I can tell the difference for sure. It's huge. I mean, it actually feels like the dri the driving the vehicle just down the road and stuff it felt smoother compared to those wore out chainsaw coyotes. <laughs> You've seen better days. They're retired. <laughs> They're retired. Uh, uh, but in the next video, I'm sure we're going to be doing some draggy testing. For in the Boondocker and the AA, sorry I didn't get done in this video, stuff happens. And Nick will probably be here with his RS1, so we'll get some uh, draggy times with that AA RS1. Um, I mean, we kind of have an idea of what 0 to 60 is on it. It was about 90, 9 seconds, so let's see if we can shave some time down on that thing. Uh, especially redoing the clutching, that's coming up too. Redoing the clutching on the RS1. Again, thank you guys all for watching, all the new uh, subscribers. We're trying to hit 5,000 before the end of December, so smash that subscribe button for us. Maybe the like button if you enjoyed it. Also, we got dirt merch. Uh, it's in the <coughs> description below. There's a link to it. 14 pieces of clothing, stickers. You guys want it? We got it. So, again, thank you guys. See you in the next one. Bye. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed that video. And I want to give another shout-out to Sheet Metal Roofing, who helped. 
sponsor and get these tires right here. You want to be a sponsor of the channel? Hit me up. There is a link in the description to my email. Send me an email. We can talk it over uh, and do a shout out and help us. You help us, we help you. <laughs> Again, Sheet Metal Roofing. Uh, owned by Max Allen. They're on Facebook, uh, Instagram. Look them up. Hit them up. You need a uh, metal roof. You live in Michigan. You're in the area. Get a hold of them. Uh, they helped us. You like us. You need a roof. You help them. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one.